Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to use Canva. Canva has become increasingly popular over the past few years due to it being so easy to use. I've actually seen people switch from Photoshop to Canva and they have collaborative features that I will show you later in this video. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also comment below any questions you have that I may not have answered in this video. And yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here we're on Canva. So once you make your account, you're going to see this homepage right here. If you have any questions after this video, you can actually go to this learn section and they actually have tutorials and courses on how to create certain things in Canva. So I would definitely use this as a resource. But yeah, so first things first, you want to create your design. So you can either select a template or you can start from scratch. To start from scratch, you would press create design and you would press custom size. And if you know the size of the post or graphic you want to make, then you would just enter it here. Otherwise, you would just follow uh, the templates they have. So you can see there's different template uh, suggestions. So in this case, I'm just going to make an Instagram post and they're just going to show me different Instagram templates that I can choose from. You will notice some of them are for the pro version, but there's still a lot for the free version. I'm going to leave a link to the free trial for the pro version in case you guys do want to check that out because there are additional features. And my favorite section is actually animated Instagram post because it adds another element to like a boring graphic. So I'm going to select on that. So to start everything off, I'm going to explain sort of how you want to go about creating a graphic and sort of like the process. So Canva has laid it out so it's very simple for you. You want to start by choosing a template or creating your own from scratch. You want to then upload any assets you have. So photos, video, audio. This may be your logo. This may be some photo that you took. This may be some uh, background music that you want to add. Next is photos. So these are like stock images you can use in case you don't have your own. And these are all quite high quality. So I think this is a good thing if you're not like a photographer or don't have a lot of photos to choose from. Next is elements. These are little icons, little, you know, clip arts that you can use, little stickers. An example of an element might be like this cat or something like that. Next is text. So in case you don't want to have boring text, you can choose from different like text styles uh, like neon and like bolded font, cursive fonts. Next is audio. So you can use free to use audio. Some of them do require you to have the pro version. Next is video similar to photos. These are stock videos you can use. There's different categories or so like business um, and then backgrounds. So this is just in case you don't want a plain white background uh, and you want to spice it up like similar to this. You can add like a gradient or some texture. And that's about it. So I'm going to start uh, by showing you how to do the basic things. So to edit text, you just want to double click on the text and you can resize the text box. So this is useful when um, you have a lot of words in like a text box. So for example, five tips for small YouTube channels. For example, if you wanted there to be less lines, you would just increase the width of this uh, text box so that YouTube goes on the second line, but I think it's fine uh, how it is right now. And to change the type of font, you wanna select the text that you wanna change. So for example, if you just wanted one word to change font, you can highlight that uh, word and you can select a new font. You can also change the color of it. So I'm gonna change it back to yellow like it was before. You wanna make sure to highlight it and not just select the color because Canva won't know what word you want to change. If you just change the font or text color without selecting or highlighting a certain text, it'll just change the text where the cursor is. So right now it's on this second row. So right now, if I just change the font, it wouldn't change the font of the entire text box. It would just change the second row. So you can see what just happened there. So yeah, we're going to go to photos now. I'm going to delete this cat because I don't really need a cat because this is for like five tips for small YouTubers. So what I might want to do is search up maybe YouTube. So I could find a logo, for example, and I could drag it on and to resize. You just want to select any corner and you just want to minimize it. You can also rotate it by clicking on this little rotate icon and just rotating it. And if you go to effects, you can actually apply certain effects to any photos you import. So you can see there's background remover, duo tone, liquify screen. These are really useful for like actual images. This is a logo, so I don't really have to do much for it. If you go to adjust, it has more basic settings like contrast, brightness and stuff like that. So I'm just going to increase the brightness because I don't like the shade of red this is. And yeah, there's also other basic photo settings like cropping, flipping and actual filters. 
Uh, but in this case, I'm not really adding any real photos. This is just a logo. I'm also going to edit the text here to say youtube.com slash Steven Van. And maybe like right here, I would just put my Instagram. That's just an example. And now I'm going to talk about some text settings. So you can apply effects to your text if you just select on the text box. So you can add neon, uh, glitch, curve. There's a couple of them. I'm not going to add any for this. You can also justify your text um, like left, right or center. You can create bullet points and you can change the spacing between each of the rows. You can also lock your text. So if you click on the three dots and press lock, you won't be able to move it unless you unlock it. You can also hyperlink your stuff. So a lot of people don't know you can actually use Canva similar to how you use PowerPoint. Um, so it might be useful to link something in case you are using this as like an alternative to PowerPoint. Next is elements. So in this case, I already have like the two elements I want to use. So I'm going to resize this camera, maybe put it here, just fill in the space. And you can use like this gradient element, maybe like in empty spaces, like right here. So I'm going to resize this as well. And right now you can't see the YouTube logo. So um, you can actually rearrange layers by right clicking on them. And in this case, I'm going to send backward. So now it's behind this YouTube logo. Next is text. So like I mentioned before, if you don't like the basic text, you can just select one. I personally like how this looks like, but uh, what you will notice is with certain types of text styles, they show you an example of what you can use it for. So in this case, huge sale, you would want to use this type of text because it stands out and it's also yellow. If you click the three dots, it shows you some keywords you can use this for. So sales, store, shopping, something cursive like this. You can see gift, Christmas, holiday. So you'd use this for like a jewelry store or something that's Christmas related or gift related. So if you want to make sure that you're on theme and it looks proper in the industry or type of content you make, you might want to do that. Next is audio. So I already have my audio. I want to use ukulele song. All you want to really do to import it is you just want to select it. And if you want to preview it, you can press play. There's different categories of music you can choose from. And you can also click on the settings icon to select vocals, instrumentals, and also free ones. I would select free if you don't have Canva Pro or else you're going to go browse through a bunch of different songs that are paid. Like a majority of them are paid. So you want to select free and now only free ones will show up, which is great. Next is video. Um, I'm not going to use any video because this is like an Instagram post. And unless I used it as like a backdrop, there's no purpose of me using it. In most cases, I would probably use this like searching up like certain things like water, just like stock footage I could use in the background that would look cool as a background. And similar to music and photos, you can categorize them by certain themes and certain categories. So you might want to choose backgrounds as one because these are super simple. And once again, you can also select a background, but I have a really nice background that looks really nice. So that's about it for the basic features. There's some additional things you can do. For example, you can add notes. So with Canva, you can actually share your designs with other people. So you can copy a link or you can send it to their email, basically allowing them to edit it or, and view it as well. So like I mentioned before, you can actually use this as a PowerPoint. So if you click the three dots here, you can actually present and you can present and record. So in case you want to do this as a PowerPoint, you can do that. And adding notes basically allows you to work with other people um, so they can add notes and feedback. Next, you can also create a new page. So this is for PowerPoints or if you're making like an Instagram post that has multiple different photos in it, like their carousel posts, you would do that. And once you actually download it, it'll download like all five posts or all six posts or how many uh, graphics you made. Next is transitions. So if you click on the top left here, there's different animations you can use. Some are just applied to text. Some also work with the entire photo. So the photo animation animates everything in, but the ones in the top category right here only animate the text. And here you can set the duration of the time. So right now it's 7.1 seconds, but in case you want it to be longer and the timing includes transitioning in and also transitioning out. Last thing I'm going to talk about like downloading, exporting it. So you can actually get it on print so you can get business cards, t-shirts, stuff like that. I'm actually going to leave a link for 15% off uh, business cards, which is great that they do that. And to download it, you just want to press download. 
and you can select any of these options. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the description and also check out my Discord channel in the pinned comment if you want to join a community of over 600 creators. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.